Hi, everybody. Let's um, go back to that major scale. And um, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay. Now let's look at the construction of a major scale. Okay. And, and you'll notice here I've got these series of, of letters. Okay. Now that R, that represents the root, okay? And the W represents a whole note, okay? And the H represents a half note, okay? Now I could say, we can say half note or we can say half step. Again, we can, the W can be a whole step the H can be a half step, okay. So this is the formula, this R, W, W, H, W, 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 H for a major scale, okay. So let's, let's start with a whole step before I get into the root. Now, we already know what a half, uh, a half step is. A half step is one fret on the banjo's neck, okay? Again, every time we move up a fret, it's called a half step. So all a whole step means is every time we move up two frets or two half steps. So two half steps equals one whole step. So now that we know that, we can go on to construct any major scale that we like. We can create any major scale from the 12 notes that we have to work with. All right, we're gonna start with G because again, the banjo's tuned in G and, and we're, gonna, we're gonna work with that. So if we're gonna work with G, we're gonna call that our root. That's all that means, the root. We're gonna, we're gonna create a, a G major scale G is going to be our root, all right? If we wanted to create a C major scale, say, our root would now be C. C sharp, whatever. If we wanted to create a C sharp major scale, our root would be C sharp. And again, we can pick any of those 12 notes that we like to create um, those 12 major scales. So let's construct a G major scale, okay? And let's do it all on the third string, that G string. As we know, that's a G string. That's how the banjo is tuned. So there's our G note, okay? So we have our root. There's our root, our G. Now, what's the, the next step in our um, scale is going to be a whole step. So a whole step is two half steps, so we're going to come up two frets. One, two. Okay, so we have G. Now we're going to come up another whole step. That's next in line. Two more frets. Now a half step. Now a whole step. Whole step, another whole step, and now another half step to bring us back to our G note and bring us back to our octave, okay? So let me just play that note, and you can watch my fingers. I'm going to play it really slowly, okay? And you can see where I'm going up the process of whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Again, we're starting with our root because we want to play a G scale, a G major scale. So we're starting with the G note. Whole step, whole step, 
half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay. So there is the construction of the major scale. And this construction works on any instrument, not just the banjo, any any instrument, it's all the same. All these all these are going to apply to, to music. Again, it's just a little bit of music theory, but uh, we're going to um, keep discussing theory and how it relates to the banjo, okay? I'm just about running out of time, but before I do, let's just start with the G note again at the 12th fret. All right, and let's work work the scale up as far as we can. Okay. Now that's as far as we can take it because that's that's all we have to work with. Again, that's where the neck is splitting in half, so we can take that G scale up now if we want to stay on the same string. as far as we can go okay so we got like an octave and a half um, on the third string a little, bit, a little bit more so you can see that's how a major scale is constructed and we're going to continue on with the scale the major scale and uh, talk about chords and just keep it going everybody so we'll see you next time right here in music